It's NAB 2023 and we're in the Central Hall, we're on the Fabrics Leader Stand and I'm joined by Martin. Hi Martin, how are you doing? Hi Simon, very good, thank you. So we're looking at this wall of IP here and uh, this is your product range. Absolutely. Yeah, IP product range. Talk us through what we're seeing. Okay, so um, at, I, uh, I, uh, at NAB this year, you know, we're seeing a sort of a divergence between people who still want to stay at SDI, okay. but now beginning to focus more into the sort of the 12 gig environment. Right. But again, you know, the, the, the buzz really is still about IP. Mm. So we're having to provide solutions that cover all. So we're going to use this uh, wall graphic just because it's easier to, uh, to sort of uh, mention them. So we start off with the, uh, with the tag. So the tag is fantastic because it's uh, you know amazing for line checking, um, but also because it's got this uh, SFP module providing an IP to SDI, SDI to IP conversion. Um, great if you're building a proof of concept system because now I can use my existing SDI content to generate 2110 uh, content. So in the range, you know, we can start off with the tag. Uh, fantastic entry price level for uh, 2110 support. And then we'll sort of move down to the unit uh, in red here, uh, the QX. That is predominantly SDI. So we're focusing our 12 gig SDI customers towards the red unit there, but also has the capability to add um, 2110 as well. But people who are specifically interested in 2110, we're positioning the uh, QXL, the blue unit there, uh, because the QXL starts life as an IP only unit, but then you have the option to add SDI, should you wish, and also SDI with I and Jitter for physical layer analysis. So these units have been in existence for a while, but they are rasterizers. So typically it's an HDMI connection to a monitor to have a look at the instrument display. But many people have wanted uh, the rasterizer to become more portable. So we've now moved on to the QXP. This is literally the QXL unit now in a portable form factor. So touch screen, button control, etc. And again, got the, the same um, 25 gig IP and 12 gig SDI support uh, that the QXL unit has. So as I mentioned, as far as trends, um, you know, the SDI side, even in America now, it's predominantly HD, uh, but we can see UHD 4K becoming more prevalent, um, but the bigger facilities are now really wanting to move uh, 2110 IP. So I think we're going to continue to see both SDI and IP uh, exist, but probably not coexisting, but being in different, uh, different station sizes uh, across the country. So in the uh, next piece, uh, Philip Adams is going to go into the QXP in far more detail and uh, hope everybody has a fantastic NAB this year. Martin, you made it very easy for me. This is, and I guess with the range you've got here, you've got a very wide audience, haven't you? People yes. that could be used for manufacturers to people in the field. Yes, absolutely. So we always lead at the show with the handheld device because many people recognize the handheld, probably more than the fabric's name. Yeah. And there's a, it's almost like the emergency, you know, the fourth emergency service of the broadcast <laughs> engineer, um, you know, because we've saved lots of, uh, uh, sort of live uh, events uh, using these products to sort of diagnose issues and, and fix them. The, uh, the tag unit, the blue one, um, started life as an entry level product, but where it's different right at the top, where this section is on the blue one, there's an SFP module slot there and things have developed so quickly on SFP. So originally we had optical fiber support, then we had some mini BNCs for SDI, and then we've got uh, also um, catered for HDMI in, HDMI out, and now with the 2110 SFP module, we're now covering all things IP. Cool. So a broadcast engineer with the blue unit and a collection of SFP modules can pretty much cover all bases now. Yeah, fantastic. Everything is shipping now? Everything is shipping. Uh, the QXP, as it says, is brand new. That has been shipping for about four weeks now. So fantastic. that's the, uh, the big buzz for us on the Fabrics booth this year. Martin, thank you very much indeed. Uh, best place if they're not in Central Hall and come to see you, where's the best place to find out more information? Okay, visit the Fabrics website, www.fabrics.com. Brilliant, Martin, thank you very much indeed. Do check out the other video that we'll be doing with Philip Adams on the QXP as well. It's an amazing product. And for everything else we're doing at NAB, check that out at kipplus.com.